All right, guys, we are back. So we've had a long tournament so far. We had some technical difficulties, but we are back and we are here with a final of Modern Shoe versus Exo, an all tech final. And tech actually is uh, picked up this sorry schlub over here. I don't know why they'd want him. Don't no, be hated. Just scoot over a little more, get in the camera, get a little friendly here. Don't you be know. hated. I don't know, but do you be hating on me and all that? Why should I get close to you? Come on because now. Don't I, be jelly. You love me. You love me. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead, look at it. I mean, Tybo had that first round by lost to Exo in the semifinals. On the other side, Shu coming from the number two spot in this bracket, uh, actually beating out Magma Bob, the number three for this bracket, and moving on to the finals to play Exo. So. Guys, we're going to see. It looks like they have selected their characters. Yeah. Let's get some music going. And, yeah, I'm going to tell them ready. My All money's right. on Exo. He hasn't let me down yet. Your money's on Exo? Oh, yeah. I'll take Shu. I'll take Shu. I think think people in chat want Shu to win. I'm going with Shu. What do you guys think? Come on, shout out. Do you think it's going to go uh, Exo or Shu? Well, clearly, sorry, this is going to be uh, <laughs> Tech Boys. But... It's going to be Tech Boys, obviously. Yes. All right, so gonna... here we go. Three, Finals two, game one. one. Oh. Five stock games. Modern Shoe giving the salute at the begin there. But Exo has none of that and goes into the media <laughs> attack. Yeah, yeah. So, some people have class. Yeah, Exo's one of them. Don't yeah. be a hater. <laughs> Come on now. So here we go, Modern Shoe taking the majority of the initial damage does get a couple of hits on Exo, but nothing initially that put him into any real color. And sucked right into that signature. Modern Shoe using Scarlet here though. Boom with the hammer. Boom goes the hammer. Well, the hammer did work for him last match, so he's sticking with it. Yeah. Right now, though, against such a fast character as Hattori, I don't know if the hammer is the way to go. I would think that Lance, kind of spacing out a bit more, might be you know, much better for him in this match, oh. as we do see Exo with that first strike. It's clearly sh uh, showing that Hattori is a lot faster, and the hammer's playing no role, or not as big of a role as it did last match. But let's see what happens. 
Yeah, and I mean, we're definitely on Exo's favorite map. We saw Modern Shoe, you know, probably show us what his favorite map was in the last match, but this is definitely not it, and it's a lot different from that map. There's a lot of, you know, changes in the vertical, you know, places you can move on. There's a big island. There's no moving platforms. Not as wide, things like that. So we might see that come into play here if Shu does lose this game. But uh, right now, he does have Exo in the red. You think he can get that knockout here before uh, taking too much more damage? He has the possibility of it, but he's not little case taking advantage of it. Looks like Exo is actually taking more advantage of Modern right now, knocking him down closer and closer to the red. Yeah, and, and right now, I mean, it's almost a full stock. It now technically is a full stock, more than a full stock right now, lead for Exo. So Exo has nothing to lose with this stock, so he's still staying on the offensive. It's playing out, working out for him. Because Modern's trying to get that last hit, but just can't. Yeah, and it's one of those things that Modern just cannot keep up with the speed right now of Exo's Hattori, though he does get the side air. Boom, goes the hammer might. So the hammer is playing a little bit of part, but not nearly as much as it did in the last match. Yeah, I mean, last match, the hammer was so, so crucial to his wins there. But uh, right now, maybe bad movement. No, gets back on, but gets signatured. It's a 4-2 to two game right now. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it kind of as if that last match did play a full on monitor or affect him, his mental status. He does not play in the same way he did last match. Yeah. I mean, it, it is safe to say that we ha we did see Taibo actually come back from this same situation and almost beat Exo in that semifinal match, that first semifinal match in that very first game. Yeah, it looks like Shu's dodging a lot more, which he wasn't doing early on. But Exo's still getting some hits in. Yeah, when, when you play a Hitori character, you're pretty much dragged into that dodge war just because Hitori is so fast with both the movement speed and the uh, the dexterity that, you know, you just kind of get forced into that dodge war. Looks like uh, Modern has almost got Exo uh, done for another stock if you can get that main hit in. Ooh, beautiful down air, beautiful throw into the uppercut, and it's a 3-2 game. Modern Shoe narrowing that gap, and I mean, if he can get some good damage here and maybe get a KO before losing that next to last stock, it's going to be a pretty even game. It is. Exo's now got to take advantage of it. He's got to stay on the offensive, but play a little dodge so he can actually not lose as much hit points. Yeah, more damage coming out from Modern Shoe. It's about a one stock, a little less than a one stock lead damage wise now. So, I mean, he is narrowing that gap. Exo, you know, kind of playing a little more defensive from Footsie, you know, a little more defensive than aggressive right now. Not something we're used to seeing Exo do. But, I mean, I think he knows in these longer five stock games, you have to switch up. You have to, you can't go aggressive the entire time. A, you'll, you'll get tired. B, your opponent will be able to adapt and actually you know, take you out pretty easily. But it doesn't look like Exo has actually dodged any of the throws to the face. It looks like he's taken them at each one. Yeah, I think, you know, in the defensive play style now, I mean, taking damage from weapon throws, especially if you're a ways away, since it only does maybe two damage, it's something that most defensive play styles don't really care about. So, I mean, unless you're at extreme, you know, damage values, like 300 or more, because then it'll just launch you, but... Same time, though, it takes you off your game because it stuns you for a little bit. Yeah, if, if Modern Shoe can get this KO right here and possibly, you know, get some more damage on Exo, that's going to be so important. Oh, but he does like... not. That side air from Exo gets that KO. So it's a 3-1 game right now. So now all Exo's got to do is just take advantage of it. But, ooh, comes back, Modern. Yeah, you got to look out for that... Uh, that hammer side air just coming off of a drop right there. Modern Shoe now with two KOs by doing just that off of a respawn, just coming in with that side air. Beautiful scoop! But Nexo recovers. And throws yeah. him up in the air. There's a weapon. Starts juggling the shoe a little bit. Oh. 
Oh, and there oh, it is. And there it is. Recovery right. move since that game one down into the record books. Exo taking it with two stocks remaining. So the question is, do you think Modern Shoe is actually going to be making a change off of Scarlet here? Or do you think he's going to stick with Scarlet and just go with a map change? Uh, I think he's probably going to change up the characters because the hammer didn't play as big of a role mm -hmm. as it did last time. And he's got to get something that's going to match up to Hattori because I feel that Exo is going to stay with Hattori. So yeah, he's got to definitely. do something. And, that, and also change out the maps. He's going to change both. I, I really think that Modern Shoe here might be going with a faster character. Um, you know, Scarlet, her, her signatures are actually really fast, but her movement and her attack speed for the rest of her moves, very, very slow. So Where'd Exo go? It looks like people dropped out of the game. He's going to drop out and come back. Be right back. Try to fix it. Okay. So yeah, I mean, I'd expect to see Modern Shoe here go with a faster character than Scarlet, especially if Exo goes with the Hitori, which it does look like he is going with the Hitori. Um, yeah, I don't see why he would change. Uh, Hitori's been working for him all day. Yeah, I mean, so. and it looks like Modern Shoe going to go with Scarlet, maybe. I mean, if he gets a more spaced out open map, it might benefit him more because he can play more to that hammer's strength of keeping distance, getting, you know, one out of every five hits that actually does quite a bit of damage and has quite a bit of force to launch a Hattori further away from you so you can keep that spacing. And we do Three, see it here, two, Mammoth one, once oh. again, Modern Shoe picked it last, last round too in the semifinals. We'll see, uh... We'll see if this actually helps him out, but Exo with that beautiful spear combo. You notice that he didn't uh, do the salute this time? Yeah, he didn't want to take that early damage. I think he learned from his mistake because Exo was having none of that. No, no. Exo not having any of that early on, just kind of, hello. Exo was like, I see your salute, and I punish you for it. <laughs> I see your salute, I raise you a sword to the face. Yes. So, sword to the face, better than salute. <laughs> so yeah, right now, Modern Shoe using that lance to good effect, and boom, ground pound for first strike. Wow, so you didn't go with the hammer this time, you went with the spear. I bet he's got the hammer now, let's see if that actually plays in. Yeah, and the spear, I mean, not spear, the uh, the lance, definitely better at dealing with both of the weapons that Hattori has. It does outrange a spear by just a minute amount, um, and... You know, it definitely outranges the sword. And it can actually keep the sword at distance so that people can't really rush down with it. Beautiful signature from Exo. Yep, he didn't lose too much damage on the four stock either, so it's kind of a, kind of a close it, game. Definitely a lot more even than we saw in the last game. But then again, the last game was on Exo's map, man. It was, and, and Exo took advantage of it. But it's still pretty close, considering that it is Shu's map right now. Whereas we saw last game where Shu pretty much was dominating the majority of it. Yeah, and right now, I mean, Shu in a dangerous area trying to uh, edge guard versus Exo. Exo very good on the edge guard himself, but beautiful dive kick. Does not get the KO, but definitely sends Exo off towards the boundary. Kind of scares Exo a little bit there, I'm sure. Oh. Beautiful! The random hit from the falling lance, and then Modern Shoe gets that down air, only in the light yellow at this point. Huge lead right now on Exo. Yeah, but anything can change in a matter of an instance. Yeah, and that's the thing about these five stocks. Anything can change. Each and every stock is, you know, a little bit more expendable than you would see in a three stock match. But, uh,. Yeah, right now, Modern Shoe triple jumping and almost getting hit by that signature, but perfectly timed dive or dodge out of Modern Shoe. Ooh, there goes Exo. Uh, Shoe is taking an, uh, advantage of not losing that uh, last stock. Yeah, and beautiful guard there with that hammer. He threw it up to kind of, you know, guard his recovery there so that he had an easier chance of getting back on the stage. And beautiful throws! Oh, oh the misses goes. the ground pound! Does not get it to come out before he lands. But Exo cannot get back on. Oh, finally it does. Shoot 
Chu going for the uppercut, not getting it. Beautiful signature. And it's a 4-2 game right now. It is. I mean, it's a really short four, but I mean, right now, Modern Shu just showing that maybe it's the map choice that really is so important here in Brawlhalla. Oh, but Exo to the bomb to the face. Kaboom! Goes the dynamite. <laughs> So yeah, coming out of that respawn protection a little too soon, Modern Shoe taking quite a bit of damage here on his third stock. Exo looks like he's playing a whole new game right now. Much different than he started out game with. Yeah, he started out a more. little bit less aggressive. I see him going more aggressive at this point. I mean, maybe he was conserving his energy and wants to finish it out now. I mean, we'll see, but oh, beautiful ground pound. Shoe oh, did back get back. back. Wow. Oh, he did get back up, but that down air from that sword, so brutal, so brutal. And now it's 2-2. Two, two. Oh. Game change just like that. Exo's more on the offensive right now, which is playing more like he did in the first game early on. Yeah, and there it is. He's just keeping that distance, trying to get that combo off. That combo is his main source of damage. He doesn't have the wall like he usually does in Twilight. And Modern oh. taken out Dominator. again. And just like that, Exo takes the lead. Yeah, that dominance right there. It just shows you the power of the five stock. Anything can change in a matter of an instance. Yeah, I mean, in a three stock game, this would have been over in exit. We'd be going to a game three right now. Yep. Exo with those combos. Exo's now more, a lot more on the offensive. Modern has to find he the counter just, for that. He is just going all out offensive. Looks to me he really saved his energy for when Modern Shoe finally got to three stocks. Oh, that. my shoe! <laughs> Evens it up, but very short with his last stock. Can he take this game, or is it going to be a win for Exo? Oh, it's a win for Exo! It's a win for Exo! My it's boy. a win for Exo! Good game! Exo takes it in two. So your boy, your boy Exo. He did it. I told you. Called it. Called it from the beginning. Uh, he needs to start training you so you can... Uh, Actually, do some 1v1, man. Uh, clearly, I'm better than you. We showed that earlier, so. 